Hello everyone, you are listening to Dr. Kumar. So today I am going to tell you about the golden rice. Actually, I will, uh, first of all I will explain you what is the golden rice. Golden rice is a variety of rice and that produce, produced through genetic engineering process. And this genetically engineered variety of rice could produce biosynthesized beta-carotene in indoor sperm. And this beta-carotene actually is the precursor of vitamin A. So here you can see that the golden rice could able to produce beta-carotene in the sperm so that's why it looks like the yellow color and the other rice variety is not able to produce beta-carotene in the sperm that's why it's not look like the yellow color so why it is so if you see the currently what variety, uh, variety of rice we are growing right now actually in the leaf portion where the photosynthesis happen in that area plants could able to produce beta-carotene but in area where the photosynthesis is not happen like the sperm in this area beta carotene not formed that's why rice edible portion endosperm portion not are having the beta carotene so scientists think that if suppose we are able to insert some gene or that could be able to produce beta carotene in endosperm also then definitely that would be a good technology and for the humanity in agriculture and why it's happened so if you see the vitamin A deficiency across the world most of the country are having the problem of the vitamin A deficiency, especially developing country in Asia and in Africa and in even South America. And if we talk about the at a South and Southeast Asia level, here we can see that most of the country are having a very severe level of the problem of vitamin A deficiency. And the reason was actually, if you see, the reason was that in this country, the most of the people are taking their energy from rice means their staple food is rice so rice could not able to provide the vitamin a because in the form of rice is divide of beta carotene that's why in this area the people are facing the especially the problem of vitamin a deficiency so here are the some of the fact regarding the Casualty happened because of the vitamin A deficiency and the data is of the WHO. Here 190 million children and 19 million pregnant women are affected because of the vitamin A deficiency in 122 country. And it was found that 1 to 2 million death on 5 black cases of the irreversible blindness and millions of the cases of gerophthalmia annually happening because of vitamin A deficiency and among that children and pregnant women are the major and it was found that 6,70,000 children under the age of 5 are dying every year because of the vitamin A deficiency so this is one of the biggest problem for the most of the country how to alleviate it especially in the country where the rice is a staple food so one of the best organization or good organization of the US the Rockefeller Foundation that has think and started the search for the golden rice and it has been started in 1982 and the two scientists the contribution of two scientists was very remarkable one was in Ingo Portrykas of Swiss Federal Institute of Technology and other was Peter Bayer of University of Freiburg in the terms of the golden rice and their contribution, their work after eight years was published in Science in 2000. And at that time, their technology was one of the significant breakthrough in biotechnology. And if you see the contribution of Peter Bramley, he was the person who discovered the phytoene disastrous gene from bacterial bacteria, and that can that they that he used for their double. Uh, development of GM tomato and that single gene could able to produce lycopene from phyto in in tomato so if you see the sources of gene in golden rice they have taken the gene from two sources one was first defo dill actually the gene uh, gene for that they have taken phyto and synthetase and actually daffodil is the predominantly spring perennial plant and actually the genus is narcissus and uh, actually belong, it belongs to the family Amaryllidaceae and 
other source of the gene was bacteria that was that is known as uh, ervenia uredi vora and they taken the gene from these two sources and they made one of the plasmid and after that they inserted in the acrobacterium for the multiplication of this plasmid and then again they transmit into the rice and they found that the endosperm of the rice those were actually previously white because of this insertion of genes changes golden and they found that this experiment has happened as a successful so it was the way through which they made the golden rice and uh, when the golden rice form then golden rice has developed the beta carotene in endosperm and actually beta carotene is i have already told that it is actually the precursor of retinol or vitamin a when it go to the animal duct where it will convert to the retinol or vitamin a so in this way it will alleviate the deficiency of vitamin a in human and uh, the first trial of this uh, golden rice was conducted in lausinia state agriculture university in 2004 after that in 2015 they have conducted another trial on in philippines taiwan and bangladesh and the first original golden rice was actually called sgr1 and under the greenhouse condition it produced 1.6 gram microgram of per gram of carotenoids so this was the experiment they conducted in different country and they found that under greenhouse condition this was the result so this was at that time in 2015 the united state patent and trademark office recognized the seven patent uh, means innovation at that time those were help th those could be useful for the humanity so among that seven winner golden rice was one of that so at the time we got very huge public and media attention and at that time the times magazine given the first uh, page a uh, cover page to this golden rice so we can imagine how much popular it was when it in uh, it got success in 2015 and after that golden rice too has been developed by the team of researcher at syngenta they produced the golden rice too what they did here they combined the phyton synthetase gene from the maize with the existing original golden rice and what they found that golden rice produced 23 time more carotenoids than golden rice so they did a very good job and this golden rice if suppose you are eating 75 g per day that could alleviate the problem of vitamin a deficiency in the man so these were the some of the information and story behind the golden rice how the golden rice developed and what the reason behind the development of the golden rice i hope you got a some glimpse about the golden rice and i hope you like this video if you like please you like here and share it for the benefit of your friend and uh, please make any comment if you, you are thinking that this, my video is need more improvement in the future so that will definitely enhance my the quality of video making in the definitely in the future and for more related agriculture you can like my facebook page where you will get a lot of the update regarding the agriculture and you can also follow me on my twitter agro bipin iri here there you will find a lot of the update regarding the agriculture and i'll suggest you please subscribe my this channel so you will find that a lot of the update or video like this in the future and please don't forget to make on of this notification because whenever i will upload any new video you will get the notification thank you for watching my video